All right, so we're going to start us off. Here we are, four player. Mark Reserve is going to start us off. Mark played really well um, at the Houston Arcade Expo. Mm -hmm. I got to know him a little bit there. Hello, Polar Bear. Thank you for, uh, for coming on in. I am Jamie with Wormhole Pinball. I'm joined by John Spates, Wormhole Pinball. And uh, real happy that you're here following us on the TPF stream. So in addition, Jamie, we were talking about Wormhole and how we do the stream each Monday. Yeah. In addition to that, we're doing a four strike uh, first Friday of every month. And that's been a ton of fun as well. That's been a lot of fun. Oh, oh, oh unlucky. Oh, uh, yeah. See, the unlucky. I. There could be an over-under pull, pull here of how many times I say unlucky. <laughs> It'll and be it, high, huh? <laughs> over-under 50? Yeah. For the whole day? I'm buying 50. <laughs> yeah, I'd go 50. over. Yeah, for I'd, sure. I'd go over 50. Okay, here's Steven. Nice. Slow it down. I'm very disappointed that I did not play in the Classics this year. You think you so, will next year? Absolutely. I yeah. sure will. Uh, I love this era of game. And uh, I. Your wife, too, Leslie, yes. should absolutely she, be a yeah. part of this. Yeah. She does very well with this era of game, also. Cool item on this game are to That's hit the, the table posts by the horseshoe. Thanks, Polar Bear. That little nudging, that little tiny nudging that they do is what's oh. brilliant. See that? That was nice. Right there. Oh. oh. Was that a tilt? Did he tilt? I didn't see that. I'm not sure. Good ball. No one's putting up monster yet. Good ball one. Mm -hmm. They're both right there. One of the hardest things for me when I'm playing, right? And again, I'm going to play this new card. You're going to hear the new card from Jamie a lot because I'm only a couple years in. Is having a strategy, walking up to a game and saying, "Okay." Here's my strategy, mm -hmm. right? This mm -hmm. is what I want to accomplish. And then when it all goes to hell, is being able, the great players are able to say, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to change my strategy, mm -hmm. right? Because, yeah. I, you know, like Mandalorian, if you can't hit that scoop to start a mode uh -huh. and you just keep trying to pummel that scoop, well, what are you doing? You're just pounding nails, right? I mean, it's find just, something else. Find something else. Yeah. Let's move on, yeah. right? And that is a struggle for me in pinball to move on. Um, you know, and if, you, if you're deciding, hey, I want to write rock, I want to do this on, on, on Rolling Stones, and you can't pummel that, you're pounding sand, man. You need to start focusing on drop <laughs> <Yeah>. targets. <laughs> Tom O'Neill at the Wormhole told me that. He's like, you're pounding sand. Strategy, keep the ball in play. Yeah, I, oh, that's unfortunate. That's a house ball right there. Boy, Rolling Stones has been, has been tough to this group. All right, here comes Mark Gunner. Or is it Gunter? Gunter. It could be. Those post score, says Polar Bear. Yeah. Those post score. Oh, here comes Mark. 50 points and a strange sound effect. That little subtle nudging, I, I'm just great. so yeah. impressed with that ability of these outstanding players. If you're new to pinball and you're watching, oh, Ooh. unlucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's three, four. But the tilt, you know, you don't. When you walk up to a machine, too, you don't know the tilt. You don't know how mm -hmm. this game is going to play, John. So you're like, uh, you practice, know, practice, practice is a practice. Is, That's is why you want to come in during yeah, that hour you, beforehand. Absolutely to figure out where some of these things are. It's you know? how to bump nudge mm -hmm. and how to, you know, how much will this machine give me? Mm -hmm. I love the story of pinball being illegal and bringing it in and having an expert show the New York City or whatever yeah. city it was. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I love that story. It, and if anyone has never heard it, like John Jax, who's uh, my friend watching, <laughs> Google that because it's amazing. Oh, did you see? He tilted. Oh, no.
Ball Nothing two. worse Ball two. Ball when two. you tilt and the the flippers just go dead. Yeah, that, 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 that hurts feelings. It does. It does. And you just watch the ball drain <laughs> out. You just drain <laughs> it, and you just oh boy, there it goes. Oh, oh that's tough. That's, that's a house tough. ball. But this has been a pretty brutal, brutal round. Makes me feel good though sometimes when I see great players. It happens to them too. <laughs> it does. I'm like, okay, it does. you know, this yeah. is. It is top two to next round. I'm pretty sure of that uh, idle man's. So we're gonna be here for a while, but it's fun. You know, we're 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 totally excited to be the streamer of choice here. Uh, thank you to Phil. Thank you to Colin. Thank you to everyone at TPF for for making this happen for us. When you oh ooh, oh nice, nice. That was good. When you hold it like that and it goes all the way up and, and around rolls and, over, and that rolls over, also. that hurts feelings, that's man. <laughs> that's also quite unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts feelings. Oh, oh that. he tried. Yep. He tried. All right, here it is. Good try, Sunshine. That was Sunshine. I mean, look at these scores. They're all in this. All right, here comes Mark Gunner. Or is that? That's Mark Gunter. I believe so, yeah. yeah. Here he comes. And he's, he's totally in this. Mm -hmm. Everyone is in this. Mm -hmm. We're, Hoods is gifting subs all over the place. Thank you, Hoodski, for doing that. Gifting subs everywhere. Click that uh, follow button. We really appreciate it. Our followers are going through the roof, so that's kind of exciting. Keep the ball alive. There it is. Good trap. Nice. 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 Oh, he tilted. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you see? Oh, no. It's yep. a tight one, yeah. man. It's not good, but he made up some ground. He made so up. Look, it's anybody's it's game anybody's here. Game. I, I know we always say it only takes one good ball. That's <laughs> I yell it at tournaments. Yeah. But uh, everyone's in this. You're walking up going. Mark's walking up going. We got a chance. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got a chance. What year of the games were those rollovers up top you could switch? Like, what? You know, that's when did a that good happen? Question. Uh, I do not know, but I believe it was probably between oh, 78 and 80. Christmas. I'm going to say, but I'm not yeah. sure exactly when. Buffalo Pinball, thank you so much. And thank you for the raid the other day. That was that awesome, was awesome. sauce. And we really cool. appreciate that. Thank you so much. Firepower 1980 was the first okay, one idle. There thank you. you. Go. That's yep. awesome. It's good info. I remember that now. Yeah. And listen, people on the chat. I think it's already apparent that I don't know really that much, and so <laughs> I have. I as well am new. I know? have, you know, I have no problem <laughs> you guys engaging, and I will regurgitate what absolutely. you say. I have okay. absolutely no problem with that, John Spade. There's a lot of knowledgeable players out there who oh play for a long time, and I'm not one of them. Well, there's a huge good yep. having a good ball. Yep. Stevens having a good ball, good bump over. Um, oh. Yeah. But please, if you, if you know something about this game, the game that we're going to be streaming, or what we're saying is totally ridiculous, let us know. We'll talk it out. We don't mind this at all. Mark is sweating right now. Sunshine's up. She is a joy to watch. She's Yesterday, she put up, I watched her put up on Creature like 300 million. Amazing. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm just going... Ugh. The main goal of the Rolling Stone is to get the eight ball multi ball. Okay. Eight ball multi ball. So now you're. I don't think. I think you're messing with me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was Bali one skate ball first? It might have been. I don't know. Nice try, Abba. I'm that not that new. It's not. What was an eight-ball, multi-ball game? Wasn't that uh, Apollo 13? Didn't that go bananas? They did, a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which I've never played either. 
Get a bonus to 19, hit hole, rinse, repeat. There you go. Oops. Okay. It's anybody's game. Yep. Mark's sure got is. it's anybody's. It is anybody's game. You want to, well, he'll let me know if he wants to come in the middle. Local place just got Apollo 13, and it is bonkers. Yeah, it's, it is. I would love to play that. I, I played it. You have? Yeah. yeah. Cool. It's, it's, it's a little ridiculous. Uh -huh. And you got the multi-ball and yeah, everything. I yeah, I did it. <laughs> and it, I just had, a, like, a panic attack <laughs> with the amount of balls. <laughs> Okay. All right, taking his time. Yep. This is this, like this is an important this is, this one for is him. An important ball. This is an important ball. So you him. know what? Don't rush it. Take yep. your time. Take your time, time, Mark. He tilted last time. Yep. Oh. There we go. He's gonna stop this, right? No. Oh man. Making me Ooh, nervous. He's making me nervous. <laughs> oh, oh, the old Jiminy Christmas. Not what he wanted. All right. It's going to be tight. Nope. Stephen Campbell, number one. Sunshine. Chapel. Stephen Chapel, thank you. Sunshine Bond. Then Mark was, Reserve. Yeah. And it Mark. wasn't until Papa and Pinberg had been around for like a decade that they actually got bigger than that. Yeah. Um, he wanted to do that every year, but again, uh, for whatever reason, that fell through. Oh, okay. So, like I said, there have been multiple attempts to get things going to keep them. Oh, okay, we're, we're we, live here. Yeah, so we're live here on we need Rolling to get Stone. We need to, sorry. No, don't worry about it. We're doing great. Oh, unlucky Keith. This Rolling Stone is vicious. Uh, they had one in the Free Play Florida last November. That one played, you know, fairly tough, but, you know, not bad. This, this one, for whatever reason, is really vicious as far as the drains. You saw one game last round where, you know, nobody broke 35,000. And this one just, you know, this one, for whatever reason, tends to be brutal. So just uh, so you guys know, we jumped to a different group for a moment. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, Keith, Steve. Yeah, Austin. but basically, yeah. Okay, Austin and Cam. Now, that, um, uh, Austin, Cam on, on Rolling Stone. Oh. Oh. Yep. So on Rolling Stone, there's two different kinds of bonus. You'll see in the middle of the play field, 20, 40, and 60 lights. <coughs> Excuse me, the little circles there. Um, that bonus is produced by getting the one, two, three, four, five targets. The one and the two are left of the left bumper. The three and the four are left of the right bumper. And the five is the center target below the center bumper. You get all five of those and advances your super bonus to 20,000, and then you can advance it again to 40 and 60. Then there's regular bonus, which you get by, you know, getting the um, the little horseshoe things on the left and right. Those advance the regular bonus. The multiplier for the regular bonus is increased by finishing the rock ROC lanes at the top of the game. Oh, that's yeah. I learned today. That so it's you, and then the super bonus carries over, whereas the regular bonus resets. Okay. So it's really important if you can to finish your one, two, three, four, five on ball one. On ball one, because then you're guaranteed forty thousand more points with balls two and three. That the, the, ca the catch is that you can't directly shoot the two or the three that well oh. because the bumpers block your shot to them. You can shoot the five, although you've got to watch out for the rebound on it. It doesn't go down the middle. Right, the one, the one and the four you can get from the, cleanly from the flippers. The three and the two, you basically have to throw it up there and hope the bumper hits it into it. Your best way to get those is really to put it through the right there, put it through the K lane and have the, you know, on the skill shot and have the bumper oh, boy, awesome. hit it into the three and put it through the R and have the bumper, you know, basically the ball falls, falls through the R, hits the bumper and goes into the two. Oh, okay. And then the, uh, the drop target in that far left, way up that far left lane there, you knock that down and then shoot the saucer behind it. And then the ball will go up top and give you a chance to get the lanes up top. So you'll see a lot of people try and get that target down to get the ball up top because that gives you a chance to get more rock letters and more numbers. Absolutely. 
I read earlier that uh, if the light is lit under the lower pot bumper, that that'll spot you one of the rock layers. I'm not sure how, to, how you would light it, though. Okay, so there, there's that little horseshoe that gives you bonus advance. It basically, it gives you both points and bonus advances, and the number of points and advances increases each time you shoot the horseshoe. Oops. I may need to go hydrate in a minute because my, my throat's getting a little dry. Is there a... Can I get you some water? Yeah, if you can get me some water, yeah. You do that. Okay. John's well, I, I don't want to be more. coughing into the mic here because my no, throat's dry. No, and, and we actually that's have a rude. cough button. You that's have a cough how, button? We, that's how awesome it is. You need to cough, tap me, and I can uh, lower your mic. Oh, but, uh, okay, okay. Don't worry well, about it. Well, let me get back to watching the game yeah, here. Yeah, go ahead. So I think he still needs the two and the three. Okay. You know, I would go for the left there. Yeah, get the drop target out of the way and then try and go through there to the top. Still needs the two. There's the three. He needs to get the ball on the right flipper to go up top and try and get it to drop through the R into the two. Oh, he's got a good chance here. If, oh, that was unfortunate. It got in the vicinity of the two but didn't hit it. Yeah. Because that, that would have been big. Extra 20,000 would have helped. He's already in the lead, but that extra 20,000 would have been really nice to have. Okay, so, yeah, the, the O and the C are actually not the best things to plunge for because it's just going to go into the bumpers and you're not necessarily going to get any of the one, two, three, four targets. So when you're plunging on this, try and get the, the R or the K. And then uh, you'll see the, just for reference, you'll see the, uh, that target bank on the, to the right of the bumpers, you'll see the value flashing there. Right. The value you get when you complete that target bank is whatever value it's on when you get the last target down. It goes from 5,000 to 25,000, I think. So if you're going to get it, you want to time it to maximize your value there. Go through the K, get the three if you can. There's the three, and sometimes you also get the four. I think you got them both there. Okay. There's the target on the left. Now he needs to go through the lane on the left at the top. There you go. And then try and nudge this into the R. He needs to get it over on the left side there to get the one and the two. There's the two. I think he got the one as well. It's a little hard to see the lighting here. I think he might just need the five to get his super bonus. If so, that should be his top priority over everything else right now. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure he's got them all. Oh. I'm turning off the ads, everyone. I don't know what we're doing. I'm sorry. They shouldn't have been on there. I turned them off. Sometimes Twitch just puts them on. Uh, it's a setting, and we're turning it off. I absolutely, positively promise. Back to you, sir. Okay. So Chris here, again, you know, you start from scratch. He has no super bonus, no base bonus, no multiplier. So he's got to just grind his way up here. Ideally, finish the one, two, three, four, five once for 20 there, and then hopefully he gets enough in regular bonus to put him over the top. Like I say, I would try plunging for the, probably for the R, because the two seems to be the hardest to get on this one. Okay, slow down here, slow down. You need to slow the game down. Okay, got his target. There it is. Now he needs to go up top if he can. Get another rock letter and another, another shot at the numbers. I'm working on it, Daniel. There we Give go, there we go. Get the R, get the two. Oh, unfortunately he didn't get the two. Oh, he tilted, that's why. That's why he, he didn't tilted get it. and the bumper didn't red didn't bump because he had tilted it. Okay, that's too bad because he had a decent chance to at least get into second.
Now, one thing that can happen when you're doing this format uh, where you move you know, one machine to the right is if the people in each group choose starting games that are next to each other, you can, yeah. get, you can get backlogged. Yes. Because you're ready to move to the right, but the group that started one machine to your right hasn't finished their game yet. Right. And that's what's happened in this case. Okay. Because the, the group on Ali that was going to move to Rolling Stone had to wait for the group that was on Rolling Stone. Okay. So who won this one? Uh, well, Keith? Austin is, uh, let's see, uh, Austin won that, so he's got eight. So I think we're in a similar situation to the other group. Uh, where the player one is guaranteed to go through yeah, with eight points. One. Austin and Steve each have three, and Chris has zero. So we have eight, three, three, zero. <clears throat> that makes it interesting because now Chris's only chance to get through is for Keith to give him some help. Yeah. This Cause, happened to cause, us. Yeah, because Chris has to win to get the four, but either Steve or Austin is guaranteed to get a point. So the best, you know, that Chris can get into is a tiebreaker. That's right. And the only way that can happen is if Keith gets second. That's right. Get that two points. To take away the two points yes. and force them into third and fourth so that Chris gets a tiebreaker with either Austin or Steve. Right. But Keith, you know, he has the momentum, so he doesn't want to lay down. He right. wants to keep continuing, right? And, right? right. Now, there, there, I've seen you know, a handful of players will play to try and, you know, in, increase the chance that a certain other player does or doesn't get through. But almost all players just, you know, play it like they would normally. Right. And let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. I, I, you know, that's the way I play. That's the way I see play, people play against me most of the time. Yeah. Is you just, you know, you play to get the best score you can, and, you know, the other people, well, it's up to them to prove that they're worth going through to the next round on their own. I was asked, I was talking to, let's go uh, here while we're, uh, let's go to this button here. Why, I was talking to Phil Grimaldi mm -hmm. at League once. Yeah. And I was fairly new to pinball, and he was in a group of fairly new people. Mm -hmm. And so he's just wiping the floor with us, right? Mm -hmm. And so I I grabbed him after Stranger Things, he'd already put up like 500 million something on it. I said, do you know, is there a point where you say, I can't, these guys can't catch me? Or do you mm -hmm. say, Thank you. I'm just gonna just make it happen? Mm -hmm. And he goes, no, listen, you can't think about that. You just have to think about yourself and put up the best score you possibly can put up. Mm -hmm. And the chips will fall where they may. But if yeah. you if you take your foot off the gas at all, it's just it's just going to mess you up for yeah. for later on. Yeah. Yeah. Play out all the uh, absolutely. I don't. I, I totally agree with you. You got to yeah. play it out. Yeah. I've I've seen rare occasions where it wasn't. I won't name any names. You know, it, it has happened a few times over the years, but it's the you know extreme exception to the rule. Yeah. You got to play them out and. Uh, and it's frustrating for the new players when someone can sit on a machine, especially the newer machines, mm. forever. Right. Right? And it can get frustrating <laughs> for us, but. Mm. Yeah, and on occasion, you know, it's worked against me, you know, because, yeah. you know, I've played hard and, you know, let somebody like, you know, Raymond or, you know, Keith or whoever get through. Right. And, well, okay. But, but if, you know, if you're going to beat the best, you, you should you beat them each round. Absolutely. You know, and I'm sure there's, you know, one or two people floating around out there who regretted, you know, having me get through. Having you get through. You know, Absolutely. That's the way it goes. So we're uh, still turning off the ads. I apologize for that. Mm. And um, yeah. it'll be interesting to see how far Raymond goes here. Uh, I've noticed over the years in classics in particular that the high qualifier statistically does not actually win that often. Really? Yeah. The times I've won classics events, generally I have not been the high qualifier. And the times I have been the high qualifier, I generally did not win. Really? Yeah. Just that's the way classics tend yeah. to run. Sure. You kind of like to be in the middle. If you, if you could pick, your, pick where you'd position, would you like to kind of be in the middle? You, you always want to be the top seed where right. you have choice. Yes. Um, it, well, Almost always. There, there are occasions when, you know, there's somebody else in the group 
and you know they're going to, you know, if, if you defer or if you're not the top seed, that they're still going to pick games that you like. And so sometimes being, you know, like the, the two or three seed works out just fine because, you know, they're going to pick games you like. And then if you get to be player four, you're both on a game you wanted to be on anyway, and you get to see all the other scores in front of you. Oh, okay. So sometimes that can actually work out a little better. But ideally, if you have choice, you know, then you don't have to worry about a game, going on a game that okay. you don't like. So when you play in a tournament where top seed gets choice of game yeah. or choice of position, what do you choose? Almost always game, but not always. Okay, it really if, depends, if, right? It really what depends. The yeah, is. if if I'm if I'm comfortable on all of the games, then I'll choose position or all the games that are available to be chosen. Shall I say? Because you know sometimes you're not com comfortable with the entire bank, but the games you've already played um, you know, have kind of taken some out of consideration. And so if you're just looking at, you know, which games are left to play, am I, you know, comfortable on all of those? Right. And if the answer is yes, then you might as well go last. However, on occasion, Ooh, you want to go first to basically put something up. Oh, they've started? And we didn't yeah, switch? we got a new group. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this uh, we need to update the, uh, the group here. Yeah, this is, the, this is our original group with Top Seed Raymond. And, again, he's guaranteed to go through, so he's just playing to stay loose here. Oh, okay. And it really, you know, it's, it's really the other three people. I think it's uh, eight, three, two, one, if I remember right. So it's the other three people who are fighting for that second spot. There you go. Get the target down. Go up top. Try and nudge it into. Okay. So yeah, Ramy's just playing first and getting out of the way. Sometimes you go first just because. Uh, you're you're, comfort you're comfortable. You're comfortable going first, and sometimes you can. Also, there's also like a little bit of intimidation factor. You know, if you if you have a good first ball, that can kind of psychologically impact your opponents. That's part of why I don't shoot those horseshoes. They shot the horseshoe bottom, and it came out the top and straight down the middle. You're, you're going to get some randomly just on shots where you can't put the ball where you want it, but it's not worth risking shooting by choice. And those that are watching, I think we officially turn them off. If you see an ad, you let me know, and we will fix that because that was never supposed to happen. Yeah. But uh, okay, there you go. Yeah, this this is a game where those, like I say, those two horseshoe things, I would not Ooh. bother with. You, you wouldn't. You're, you're, like I say, you're going to get some randomly on shots where you just aren't able to get the ball, you know, to the top of the machine. But they're they're not that valuable compared to getting the super bonus and the bonus multiplier, which you get with the numbers and the letters. And this is Chris. Chris. Chris needs good balls. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 haven't got the uh, the group switched over yet. No, that's. Oh, uh, Rolling Stone. The, that's that's not this group though, because this is the group with Keith. Or, excuse oh, okay. me, with with Raymond. With Raymond and Steve and Austin. All right, let me refresh this page. So we need to refresh that. Sorry, guys. I'm learning. Let me go get Phil. OK. Hang on. Phil. Phil. Hey, Phil. Yeah, we need to need to switch the group over. Nice little tip there. That's what you needed to do. He needed to get it to the other flipper, so he just he held it up for a little tip there. Nice dead bounce. There's his drop target. Cradle up and shoot that left orbit to the top. Oh, a little low. Look out, look out. Nice recovery. Got it changed. Nice recovery. Because that was about to go out the out lane. And again, he's, as is typical, you know, people are missing the two and the one here. Oh, sling grain. I hate sling grains. 
I mean, that's the way the machines are designed. Yeah. But they're really a pain in the ass. That'd be VTV blunt. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I assume he's going to go up top here. Basically, oh, Ooh. decided to transfer. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Except they could go outside the drain. Yeah, if, if you know, if you're comfortable transferring on this one. Nice little combo Good there. Dig. Flipper combo that is. Yeah. Okay, he's got his two. That's the hard one. Dead bounce. He's got the one. Two. I think he just needs the five now for the super bonus. If so, he should get that over everything else. Some right. folks don't, you know, don't know to do that or don't yeah. remember to do that, you know, because at that point that's more important than going up top. Yeah. Here since, comes it, Garrett. Since, since it's an instant twenty thousand. Folks are having trouble getting that R. See if he gets the two off the bumper here. Yes, he yes. got the two off the bumper. Okay. I think he got the five there just by accident with that save. So he's got the, I think he's got the one. I think the, the at least one of the lights is out. So now he needs to get the three. Dead by, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, get control here. Get that target. Oh, oh unfortunate rebound. Still in the lead. Yeah. Now there's a potential for a tie here. Yeah, there really <laughs> is a three-way tie possibility. Well, no, because uh, Garrett with a first would have four. And Steven with a third, which is where he is right now, would have four. Right. And John would not be able to. So I think we do have a tiebreaker between Garrett and Steven. But if just, Garrett finishes just second barely. and John yeah, see, third see, see and Raymond. Steven. Right, but see, since Raymond is second, Raymond gets the two. So right. it's four, two, one, zero. So that means we have 10, what is it, 10, five, five. Oh, no, it's 10, 10 five, four, because Garrett, don't, okay, yeah, Steven only got one. So Garrett did get through. There you go. Nice job. Pull it out the last game. Yeah. Great comeback. So yeah, 10 5 4 2. You think the five isn't working? I have seen super bonus today, so I know that the five is working because there was a player earlier who had the super bonus. But like I say, most people either don't know to hit it or don't remember to hit it. <clears throat> Hey, Baldzilla, thank you so much. Dalton, I don't know. I think because we, we have so many cameras and so much, I, I, there's only so much we could do. Um, I would love to have a player cam, wouldn't you? A player cam It'd be rather than the room cam? Yeah, it'd be nice to have a player cam, but, you know, it, all this gear costs money and time to set up. and You know what we don't get back? And that's called money. Because you, you don't make any money doing yeah. this, right? You're doing no, this for the no, hobby. You're doing no. this because you, you love it. You don't want to know how much Carl has put into his setup. Oh. You, you really don't no, want to know. No, I don't. You don't even want to know how many digits it is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't either. I don't. And so we're buying all this equipment from Phil yeah. Grimaldi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So our wormhole is going to get better. But uh, mm -hmm. I don't even want to know what he's going to ask me for. Yeah. So. I ran into a couple of the wormhole people last night. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm a wise ass, as most people know. So Good. Let me, let me throw something out here. <clears throat> Please. Just a moment. I need another drink. Um, I'm not sure why you guys came up with wormhole. I mean, you know, wormholes are a cool concept as far as science things go. I'll but, tell you the but, true but, story. Okay, and, and then I'll give you an, an, an option for an, for an upgrade. Oh, because, well, we've spent a little couple of dollars on the branding, so I don't know if we're going to be able to oh, okay. change it. Okay. But uh, basically, we're a private club in Houston, Texas, again, mm -hmm. with uh, a couple of collectors that have uh, used their hundreds of games, and we rotate 25 in and out, and they're in great shape. And we started during COVID, and it was just a private club for about eight of us that were all kind of quarantining together and all of a sudden you would be there we didn't have a name for it we just called it our clubhouse mm -hmm. and then you I'm only gonna go there for an hour and then five hours later you're Uber and home 
and we go. We said this place is a wormhole. A time you suck. Bet you, you time suck. You've been it's sucked in. Suck. Okay. Okay. And so that's really where that it makes, became. That makes perfect sense. Final game. Let's go ahead and get the match play updated. Now, so we now this would be. An, I'm going to pose a question to the chat here. Um, you know, not a lot of folks are fans of the solid state rolling stones, and not a lot of folks are fans okay. of the stern rolling stones. Right. So let's get a little <laughs> poll here between the Rolling Stones, which, you know, do you want to vote for which you uh, dislike the most or which you like the most? I don't know how you want to put it, but. I like the Stern. Oh, they're ready to go. They're yeah. not even ready to go. Oh, oh, they're not, they're, okay. Yeah, they're playing fast today. That's good. Did we get this updated? Is it correct? I believe that is right. Okay. They have the Yeah, so yeah, that is right through two games. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, just, you know, so yeah, in, in your spare time chat, if you could, you know, kind of comment on, you know, between the two, Rolling Stone games that a lot of folks aren't fans of either one, you know, do you have a preference <laughs> if you had to choose? I, I would, I like the Valley one. I'd take the Stern one. I don't know. I, I, I have like a guilty pleasure. I like that game. It's just, you know, Mick starts moving. I'm yeah. like, all right. Yeah. I'm yeah. having some fun now. Because like I say, I know a lot of folks that, you know, don't like either. Yeah. So I got to tell you, the backlash on this is terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The it's artwork like, on this It's like sucks. not even trying. <laughs> It's like I put it together. Oh. <laughs> ah. so, yeah, somebody had their kid do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that the uh, all right, so we have our first two players, Garrett and Keith. Yeah, and we have a few balling. typical Rolling Stone, not a whole lot balls. Yeah. They already have some points in the group though, so they might be okay. Um, it's really Well germane. right right now though, nobody is safe because even Keith could end up in a tiebreaker. Correct. In fact you could end up in a tiebreaker for the second spot. Yeah, very possible. You know, if, yeah, if, there. If, if Garrett, you know, if, if Raymond won and Garrett was second and Jermaine third, you know, Garrett's through and yeah, he's, he's in a tiebreaker with Raymond. Right, so. playing for his tournament life there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Man, you don't want to be playing for your tournament life against Raymond on anything. So. <laughs> no, not in this bank. He put up quite a qualifier. Yeah, yeah. So we have three stink bombs. Yeah. Largely not the fault of the players, just that's the way this game plays. Yeah. Um, the, so the shots that, on That the, was a little sketchy, but he got away with it. Ooh. Yeah, well, if you hit the candy canes at speed, they will kill you. Right. Those lower two yeah. shots yeah. that you see on there. Um, if, uh, if they, especially you, bottom to top. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're that, dead. That, that's, that's a middle drain, yeah. But, um, yeah. There's his saucer to back up top, and now he needs to get the go. R to try and nudge it into the two. And unfortunately, he doesn't get the two. I, I've been telling people that the, uh, you know, to get the one, two, three, four, five to get your super bonus, the hardest one to get seems to be the two for people. But a lot of them either aren't aware of it or forget about it, and you know, they'll, they'll get one through four, but they they won't shoot for the five to finish their super bonus. Yeah, it's Which, worth it. At you, that and, point. It's, and it's instant twenty thousand. So yeah. you, you know, when you've got one through four, you really need to get that five. Yeah, Jermaine with a really nice tap there. You Very saw nice. That on stream. And he gets the target again, so he can go up top again. Yeah. Now he just wants it on the right flipper to shoot it up top. Take Try, trying to. Ooh. He got just the two. Cold backhands the two. Yeah. Got the two. <laughs> that works. Another yeah, tap. Okay. Awesome. Very yeah. nice up top. Let's get some rock. Get some rock letters here for your base multiplier. So this is Raymond, right? Uh, oh yeah, this is Raymond. Oh right? yeah, they're right. in a different order this. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah, in a yeah. different order this time. I messed up. Yeah. I think I he just needs the five for his uh, super bonus now. It looks Thank like the one through four are out, so he should shoot the five. Thank you, Pinball Howard, for keeping our player order oh, honest. What, yeah. What's <laughs> why is it that what is it that nobody seems to know about the five for the super bonus? I think I saw Sebastian, you know, get it oh, earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah. But no one else has been going for it, and it's instant twenty thousand. It's, it's it, it, it's in this case sixty because it would be for the next two balls as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to coach sort of during play, but you know, <laughs> I, I really have the urge to go over there and tell somebody. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, Come it's, on, guys! It's, it's big points. It's big points. And normally that target's poison, but when it's worth when it's worth it. that's sixty thousand. If even if you drain, it's mm -hmm. sixty thousand. Which yeah. on this game is not inconsequential the way it's playing. Yeah. And that and that's only if it you if it rebound drains. If it doesn't rebound oh, drain, then it. it's sixty thousand plus yeah. whatever you get the rest of the ball. Yeah. 
So yeah, it's definitely it's the, the, the risk reward on ball one for taking that. You, you take it. Absolutely. You got to take it. Yeah, Garrett there has a nice save, but does have to tilt it uh, yeah. to do it, so he loses that. And another stinker ball, or uh, one for five it'd here. It'd be interesting to, you know, balls. it'd be interesting to check the uh, the statistics. Yeah, there's no way to do it, but uh, for all the games played on this this weekend, what portion of the balls, the total point score for the ball was less than 10,000? <laughs> and I would guess that it's probably two thirds. <laughs> yeah, just about. Yeah. It would average out to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, what? Keith showing up with some control. Uh, I, I mean, I'm assuming he went for the drop target. I'll give him credit for it, but it was late to the candy cane. He does save it. Well, he got the five there. So now if he can get the one through four, he's, yeah. you know, he's already got the one that people have been forgetting about. Yeah, pop bumpers aren't picking yeah. it up and for him. And got though. the harsh drain there. Where you, that That's one of those nasty things where the fact that there's rubber on one side of the return lane and not rubber on the either side of the out lane. You know, it, it'll rattle out of the in lane into the out lane, but not the other way around. Yeah. And he just seems to love to do that. Yep, yep. And you hate when it looks like it's going to go in there cleanly and it's not quite clean and rattles out anyway. Yeah, because then you don't hit it. You're like, I'm not. Right, right. Not it's like, it. I'm not going to touch it because it looks like it's going in clean. And then it, it's like it's 30 second of an inch from being clean and rattles into the out lane. Yeah, the five could use a obstacle. Yeah, the rock letters are a little faded too. You can't really see them yeah, on stream. Yeah, they need but to replace a few bulbs here. In, in person, you can tell which ones are on. Yeah. They're, they're very faint though. That one, I would not have done that. He got away with it, but it was rolling so slowly, I would not try to transfer with it rolling that slowly. Yeah, yeah get another Cause, one. Because you risk it going the wrong way. All right. Slow it down. That's what everyone's always telling me. <laughs> slow it down slow when you can. Down. Slow it down when you can, but make sure it's actually going to make it across cleanly without having to do a save for right. it. Because then it's going to go out of control. All right. Jermaine's getting some traction now. Let's see where he ends up. He got the two out. Super bonus. S survive that uh, little horseshoe bottom top. Okay. Uh, I think yeah. he still needs the four target. Yes. I'd, I'd still take the, uh, I think okay. he just got the four target. Looks like it. At least he should have. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's, he's staring into the lights trying to figure yeah, it yeah. out himself. There's the tap again from Jermaine. Oh. Uh, Almost backhanded himself a drain, but. Cool. Yeah. We want that right flipper control. Beautiful. Very nice. I want to see somebody get the five here. Just Please, sorry. Oh. Oh. Just, just, you know. Make sure the target's still working. Yeah, so Jermaine places himself right in front of Raymond's <laughs> ball. I guess I know it was working because I saw somebody with the super bonus earlier, but yeah, sometimes targets die or lose sensitivity. So yeah, I think that five light is is tricking people. I know the five light's not working. Right. So you got to keep track of it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Does that annoy you when that stuff happens when you guys? Are yes. Playing? Yes, it annoys yeah. me when. Yeah. It's, a, it's an extra thing to remember, too, right? Yeah, you, yeah. Like, you, you, you want to basically be able to focus on the game and not remember all the little glitches. Like, you know, okay, does this not register? Does this not show? Okay. Or right. You, you want to be able to focus solely on your play and not on little things like that. Yeah, because you got so many things going on, and every edition yeah. is just another yeah. distraction. Yeah, and, and any, anything else that takes brain power away from the main focus is right. not good. Fair enough. Remy getting some nice control here. Yeah, and he's uh, doing nice little alley transfers. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a great play. And into the C with a few all knocks. Okay, Rocks and he did, he did have the five because now he's got his super bonus. Yeah, that's Because I guess 000. he just needed the one up there. So now he's got 20,000 oh, there, and yeah. that'll be another guaranteed 20 on ball three. Yeah, don't touch that. That's uh. So he's guaranteed 253. 
Yeah, the super bonus carries over. The regular bonus resets. And the regular only goes up to base of 19, and then you can get a up to 5x multiple if you complete the oh. if you complete the rock targets or rock lanes three times. Yeah, Andy. And did. there is another one of those sub 10,000 balls. Yeah, he tilted that. Yeah, uh, but I mean that's still a sub 10,000 ball because it was yeah. going to be next to nothing until he, you know unless he tilted it trying to save it. So right. That one almost went out there too. Uh, I might make it with make its way back. Uh, yeah, kinda, that, that one was almost another sub ball. Yeah, Keith's been playing live here. I think he just got the five there. Looks like it. That second shot probably got it. Oh, that one definitely. That one definitely because it <laughs> added a bonus. <laughs> there's the four, there's the two, and I think the one. So now if he gets the three. Yeah, he's headed that way. Yes, Ooh. he got the three, and there's his super bonus of 20. So Eight. that's good. You know, he, don't, he doesn't get a carryover, but, you know, he gets the 20, and you, then you can advance toward 40 if you get him a second time, or 60 if you get him a third time. Right, yeah. And th those were the kind of points you needed And again, there. those carry over if you finish a set on ball one to get to 20, and then you finish another set on ball two, that gets you to 40 because it held the 20 from ball one. That's vital, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, because the scoring opportunities on here are not great. Otherwise, okay. you have to finish the drop target yeah. things to get your, you know, 10,000s. The candy yeah. canes also can build, but they're deadly, so you're not yeah. going to hit them five times. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to. Basically, you ignore the candy canes. They, you, they just happen. Yeah, Jermaine needs to pass Yeah, Raymond and uh, put in insurance to beat his ball three here. And he's yeah. playing, playing for it all right now. He will be out if he does not. Uh, yeah, because Garrett basically is looking at a zero, and that would leave him odd man out because Raymond would have six, Keith would have seven, Garrett would have five, yeah. and Jermaine right now would be looking at three if he doesn't pass Raymond. Yeah, so he really needs this ball to work out yep. for him. Nice control, and you can, you can see the difference in styles here. Um, Jermaine wants to play a very oh. controlled game. Yeah, it's... I got to remember that, you know, Raymond learned a lot of his technique from Jermaine and Kaylee and the Seattle crowd. So there's okay. going to be a lot of similarity in play, you know, style of play between those guys. Yeah, absolutely. We, we see them both utilizing the, the tap pass left to right. Yeah. You know, makes yeah. you think of Harlem Globe Charters, any, any of the valleys from this, this era. Yep. Because that's just. And Raymond can plunge off here. Yeah. Knowing that he is advanced to the finals. Uh, yeah, he along has. With, along with Keith. Yeah, because he'll get second in the group and uh, be out. Yep. No yep. tiebreakers to play. No tiebreakers in this group. So we'll see if there's tiebreakers in another group that we can inflict on you. Yeah, Raymond, yeah. I, I can make a bad math joke there. Where there's something in math called a point of inflection. And uh, Bowen and the rest of the math people will know what I'm talking about. So now I can talk about, you know, point of infliction where, yeah, we're <laughs> going to inflict another game or tiebreaker or whatever on you. So. <laughs> I got it, Bob. But, uh, okay. okay. So yeah. once they enter these scores, I'll put it on the, uh, the bracket. Okay, I'm going to take a look. And uh, we can take a look there. Where after the first multi-ball, then you've got to complete the... Uh, Stand-up targets the above full it. Bank. Oh yeah, no, the the, the, the three stand-up targets that are just outside the lock thing there. Yeah. To re-enable it. Yeah, with the upper flipper and the yeah. pop bumper sitting yeah. there. Yeah. So here that's we a, go. That's an interesting way to do it. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, is, is Raymond just uh, skipping game three? Because I only see three players up. So he must be just you know like saying I'll take a avoid and save time. Uh yeah, it looks like. That looks like it. <laughs> okay. Raymond's great. He's taking the check. That's nice, actually. Oh, I yeah. I think that's really good sportsmanship. No, that's how you want to do it. Yeah. As again, is because just because they're in a perfect tie, nothing yeah. he does will change yeah. on the outcome. Uh, okay. Nope. They have four players up. Raymond's playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. Just a little issue. Uh, oh, he probably ran out of credits. That's like. Ah. This guy hasn't been no, given any there's, replays. No, there's nine. Well, whatever. That's he. He just added he just ten. Added them, okay, and he just then added spent ten. One okay. to, to get the four. And he's gonna play. Yeah. He said, "I'm gonna sweep it." Why not? Twelve points would look real nice. Not gonna get you anything more, but it would look good. Wow. Maybe again, Bob Ellie, again, again alley pass to set up the shot to the top. It does alley pass pretty nice on this one. 
If you can actually get the ball on the flipper to alley pass it. Right. Doing a little uh, drop catch tech there. Yep. To so if you just tuned down. in, uh, Raymond is the winner. He's going to win the uh, the classic tournament here, and we got a massive battle for second place, which is totally awesome. There you go. There's my commentating on the side. Yeah. <laughs> just just think of this as a tiebreaker. It just happens to be game three. Yes. And Raymond being very efficient, it, it shot to the left orbit there. Absolutely. And you, you can see in his flipper control, like with, with the drop catches and the dead bounces, like he's able to keep it in the center. Don't worry about the out lanes. Yep, nice little dead bounce. He knew it would come back up, you know, yeah. far enough to get it to the other flipper. Yeah, and that's that's why. I mean, he, he misses the, the shot late. And but, now but, you know, he's, he's got, you know, the one through five once, and his, he's got his 20,000 super bonus right. already. So that's that's 20 and 20 banked. Yep. All right, so now to players who are playing for it. We so got now Zach. we got Zach. I don't know, does he go by Zach or Zachary? I know some, you know, I don't know. most folks Maybe. like Zach, but there are, are a few who prefer Zachary. I don't know which way he prefers. Maybe someone in the chat knows. Yeah, it's it's interesting how many Zacks there are in pinball. <laughs> yeah. A lot of Zach. He's Zach. Where's Zach from? He's Zach. Thanks. Also, uh, welcome in Mother Mothership 3000. Oh. <sighs> Rochester, New York. Go Yankees. <laughs> or they might be what Toronto a, fans up there. Well, actually, when, yeah, I, grew, all farther when I grew up in Rochester, <laughs> the Rochester Red Wings minor league triple-A baseball team was the farm club for the Baltimore Orioles. Oh, okay. This, this is back in the, like, uh, uh, Ripken days and such, or actually even before the Ripken days. Mm. All right, slowing it down, Keith. Yeah, same, same way starting out. I think Keith take a more measured approach to this game. I would have that that bounce to go up top. I right? would have also. I, yeah. I don't know, like. I try to say that he's doing a thing, and then he does something else. I think he's listening. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, he oh. tilted. Yeah, a, he tilted. It's been touchy on this one. It, yes, this has been yeah. probably the tiltiest game in the Classics Bank. Yeah. Tiltiest is a real yes. nice adjective. I like it. Yeah. Now uh, Sebastian up to play. That, that's that's one huh? thing that you know if you're a tournament director. Try to have the tilts consistent across all games in a bank whenever possible. You know, you, right. you can't always succeed, but that, that should be your goal, is to have the tilts be consistent. Yeah, and I think they've in, been fairly successful know, with whether, it. whether they're tight or you know, loose, consistent is, you know, is, is even more important than, you know, which way they're set. Right. Because if they're inconsistent and the player is going from one game to the other and they don't remember this is the loose one or this is the tight one, that's not good. Again, that's that's something else. You know, the players should not have to keep track of all the little things like that. Yes, just, just, just like we were talking earlier, you know, before you joined us, Mark, about you know if, if some of the lights are out, uh, you know, the, the players should only have to think about you know their actual gameplay, not you know is this the loose game or the tight game or the right. You know, it's the, just another. Or, or this light is out or that doesn't work or and then we have another tilt. Yeah. I mean, it, he had no choice. I mean, we saw yeah. that drain. That, yeah. Uh, so it basically, it's a two-ball yeah. game for second at this point because right. nobody's got anything other than Raymond. Yeah, Sebastian had the nice alley pass going there. I think that'll that'll help him out. And the the I don't know if it's clear on the overhead cam, but the lane is actually two pieces of metal there. Um, so even if it goes on the alley, you have a little rattle and it'll come into control for you. And yeah, we'll see see how Keith opts to play it. We got some dead bounces. We got a drop target down. One, or sorry, this is Raymond. This is Why? Raymond. Yeah, Ray, yeah. Raymond playing. Yeah, back. Nice. I'm not even paying attention, man. Don't yeah. even worry about it. Raymond's doing great. He wants 12. Right? That's what he yeah. wants. Why not? Why not? <laughs> he wants we to solidify that he's number one in the world because Bob gave some doubt a little earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Bob. I mean, if he rolls it. He's got five dollars on the line. Oh yeah, five eight sixty-five. What a great prize pool too. Well, see this this you know this gives Raymond a chance to go for the uh, daily double, because remember you know 
I won the classics last time this was held. He won the main tournament last time right. this was held. So if he wins classics now, you know, he, if he repeats in the main one, he's got the daily double. Yeah, he both tournaments. Chance. Just, just kind of like uh, Eric Stone in uh, Atlanta or Florida. Oh yeah. Shout out to Eric if you're uh, watching, as opposed to you know being on the air right now. Right. How's the weather in Florida? Yeah, he's, he's actually uh, got a, a part-time national gig now. Nice. Good for us. Uh, what, yeah. what is it? Newsmax or something? He does uh, one, you know, a little bit of the weekend on Sundays. Nice. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's watch Keith play here. He's got that alley pass left to right as well. Uh, when, whenever the game at least gives him a chance to yep. do it. Nice little save there. Ooh, oh, did, and he, did that tilt? Yeah, I thought yeah, that might have yeah. tilted. And it's it, just it, it just looked like too much of a move. Uh, all right, so in the chat, yeah, I don't. Yeah, the the tilts on this one should be looser. I feel like, and Ollie needs to be a little tighter. But I yeah. mean, like you said, it's, yeah. it's a, a give and take, and you, with, with the way the qualifying set up, you can't really change it once it's set. And yeah. everyone gets a chance to practice, so it's not like right. they're changing it. Yeah. No. Right, but you don't want to have that change in the middle no, of the, yeah. the tournament. So. Yeah. Oh, um, and again, and Keith never really got control there. Dang. Uh, so then, yeah, pinball whiz. So the drop targets, they're okay, but I have noticed the third one uh, is a stone wall and does not like to go down. It's very stubborn. Let's see what Sebastian can do here. Yeah, the field's open. Not a lot of okay, points on the board. Okay, see if he can get his target. Yep, okay, now can he get the ball back? He got the five there by accident, and goes up top, very efficient, okay. Now, now if he was to get the, if he was to finish the numbers up there. That'd be very nice. Because he's got the three and the four there, I think, so if yeah. he just gets the one and the two, he's got an extra 20 grand guaranteed now, and the next ball, oh, didn't get it. Yeah, he didn't tilt though, did he? Yeah, did not, okay. Did not tilt. So a little he's, count he's there. He's behind, but not huge. And uh, Raymond, yeah, uh, just doing terrible on this game. Really can't can't get started. Has no tech at all to handle the ball. Yeah. So here we are. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean Raymond, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's all coming down to this. It's it turned from a two-ball game into a one-ball game. Keith is behind, but not. I wouldn't say appreciably so. Like any yeah. any score that is going to pass the other people is going to uh, be a winner. So best wishes from power Raymond. in lane there. Raven, of course, getting all all of them. Oh boy! Uh, but yeah, those oh. are those were faster than most of the in lanes have been on this today. Oh, that started to be a power in lane and then slowed down when we hit the bottom curve. Right. Again he's, out. again, he's really good at getting that target shot. And Saucer in. Back up top. be interesting to compare his uh, shot making percentage on that uh, target and the lane behind it with everybody else's. Yeah, the, the numbers. Because he's been. Would show. His accuracy on that has been way better than most people. Yeah, and even like a quick on the fly, like he knows where that is. Yeah. And, and, no, and no panicking when it's you know down to the tip of the flippers there. Yeah. Not whatsoever. Is, and it is like because that alley pass is so good, that also means like, you know, a tip that goes into the other flipper, yeah. probably you're going to get control of. Yeah. So you don't have to do a double flip save. You can just do a, a single tip. Right. And, and you know, then it'll hover in the next one long enough to get control. Right. Versus doing, yeah, like you said, the full slap save, you'll yeah. throw it back yeah. in and then have and to play with the And less chance of a tilt, too, if, right. you, if you just give it the little tip. You know, there's some oh, games where the flippers so are weak enough that you feel you know, obliged to take the double flip save because you're not pretty. sure it's actually going to come up far enough. That was that was just a pretty drop catch, throw it right yeah. up. Like, yeah. yeah, now Raymond's moving through 370,000. So if you're Zachary, and, and again, this is this is what Keith has to keep in mind is you know, okay, see what Raymond's doing here. You're only down 30. If you do what Raymond's doing here, that's enough to get it. Yeah. And if you're Zachary, you just I don't even know if you want to look. To be honest, just look away. Tell me when it's my turn, and then <laughs> I'll go do what I gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a blinder for the, yeah, the scores right? actually, so I don't even see them. 
All right, this is where we're going to see who gets second here. Okay, so he got the three and I think the four. Some lanes up top see, if, building. If, if he can finish his one through five, that would be huge. He Careful. He, tilt. he tilted. Yeah, he it, looked like a, it looked like too hard a slap save. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. That might change yeah. Sebastian's strategy a bit because no. now Sebastian only yeah. needs 11 and change. Right. No, so he, he can play old. a little cautious. And he threw away a lot there because yeah. he, he had all those yeah. lanes up top and the targets. Yeah. His bonus yeah. was up to six or seven, I think. The door is ajar. Yeah. Okay. And Keith is finally slowing down. To oh, oh no. no! Over the flipper. That that sucks. Adios mio. I hate when that happens. I really hate when that happens. All right. Well, Keith is now in fourth there it place. Is, guys. You know. So Keith is fourth. Then this is it. Second, third is a toss-up here. Let's see what Sebastian can do. Can he clear it, or will the outlanes find him? So he's got 3,000 bonus. Don't tilt, though. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. No, he finished the uh, target. Oh, yeah, he finished, he finished the He finished the target bank, and it was worth, you know, like 15 or so. So that was enough to get him there. Very nice. So second place for Sebastian. Nice yeah. job, everybody. Nice job, everybody. Wow. Yes. Oh, I thought he was going to tilt. Well, now, now he has to take down Raymond so he doesn't get the 12. You know, it's just pride, right? Right. Okay. S saddle him with the ten, you know, double digits. Saddle. But you hey, didn't. You didn't, you didn't get you all. Didn't, you didn't sweep us. <laughs> I want you to know you didn't sweep us, Raymond. All right, I had you on one of them. I'm ready for it. With the super bonus on here, you can get a very big ball. That's awesome. Wow. Okay, well that's once over. again you just witnessed the TPF. Finals of the Classics Tournament won by Raymond Davidson. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations, Raymond. And second place, Sebastian Bobio. Bobio. Outstanding. Zachary Fry third and Keith Shahan. Is it Shahan or Shahan? I don't actually know.